guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video on the channel. Today we've got the Premier League Game Week 9 predictions. Um, I've got them on my phone, so I will look down. If you're new to the channel, then subscribe. We've got these coming up now. In two and a half hours, we'll have a Tottenham vs Watford preview. On um, Saturday, we'll have Champions League predictions, and Sunday, a Red Star Belgrade preview. Um, these are going to be quite quick, because I'll have another video to film all this and to edit it. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this. First game is Everton versus West Ham. Everton are in the bottom three, actually, which is quite surprising. I didn't predict that. And West Ham are in the top four. Top five. One of them. Doesn't change the fact they're shit. But I am going with the 2-0 West Ham win. Um, call them shit and they win. They lost 2-1 to Palace last time because of Jordan on you. Everton are shit. So, yeah, 2-0 West Ham. And uh, could be the end of Marco Silva's reign at Everton. Next is Aston Villa versus Brighton. Villa, who are doing okay in the Premier League, they've just beaten Norwich 5 1 before the international break. And Brighton, who beat us 3 0, so they're both on their high horse. Um, but I'm going to go with the 2 1 Aston Villa win just because they're at Villa Park and they're going to be one of the stronger teams at home this season, I feel. Now it's Bournemouth versus Norwich. Norwich are pretty shit, really, apart from their win against Man City. They lost 5 1 to Villa, as I said. Bournemouth in their last game, they lost 1 0 to Arsenal. Uh, it was unlucky really not to get any points. Uh, but I'm going to go with the whitewashing. I'm going 3 0 Bournemouth. And hopefully Callum Wilson scores a hat trick. Now it's Chelsea versus Newcastle. Newcastle, yeah, every time I come on here I say they're shit. So they're shit. Chelsea are going to whitewash them 4 0. Now Leicester versus Burnley. Burnley are pretty shit. Uh, yeah, Leicester at home. They play some good stuff under Rodgers. So I'm going to go. 2 0 Leicester. Now, Tottenham versus Watford. I'm not going to speak about it really. There's going to be a preview coming out in a couple of hours, so uh, check that out. Um, I'm just going to give a scoreline. I'm going 3 0 Tottenham. Now, Wolves versus Southampton. Wolves picked up their first points um, against Watford, and then they done something a couple of weeks ago. I can't. They, yeah, they beat Man City. How can I fucking forget that? They beat Man City, um, but I think it's going to come plummeting down now. With Europa League syndrome, I'm going 2 1 Southampton. Now, Crystal Cardiff Paffle against Man City. Um, yeah, Man City and Man City. They wasn't Man City a couple of weeks ago, they was Man United. So, I think they're going to get back to winning ways. Palace are okay at the moment, they beat West Ham 2 1. They're in the top six, but I'm going Man City 3 1. Now, Man United versus Liverpool. A uh, big game on paper, but. Now it's just not a big game, Man United of shit. They lost to Newcastle, which summed them up really. Um, Liverpool are probably going to batter them. There's no De Gea, no Pogba. Martial could be missing, Wan Bissaka could be missing. Their whole fucking team could be missing. Has been missing since the start of the year. I'm going 3 0 Liverpool. Um, and maybe the Infrastructure as well. And now the last game on Monday Night Football is Sheffield United versus Arsenal. Now it's one of them games I think is going to be tricky for Arsenal. I'll go 1 0 Sheffield United. Um, yeah, Arsenal away, I think it's just a game they struggle with. They are shit against these new teams, really. This is where they're going with 4 0. And yeah, Monday Night Football, never many goals, so 1 0 Sheffield United. Um, so yeah, that is going to be it for the video. If you did like it, then like the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.